What's your biggest collection of single cards? You guys want to see? Let me show you. Flex. Okay, I'll flex. I'm in the middle of cleaning my room, so don't mind the mess. It's my treasure chest from PSA. We have. Ooh, let's get that. Get that lighting going on. I should probably take pictures after this. Anniversary Festa. Shining Right You. Piece of Hair. Reggie Rock Gold Star. That Pikachu is probably 4000 right now. Pre-order Pikachu. We have Munch. I have Mimikyu Munch. I just need to find it. I don't know if it's here. It's somewhere. The seal first edition? What? What's first edition? What's the most you have spent on one card, if you don't mind me asking? The most I've spent was 14000 Wait, actually, no, I have a card that's $14,000, but I didn't spend that much on it. I was trading up for it. But the most cash I've spent was $7,000. On a fan club magic card promo. Fan club... I have to show you guys it. It's in my binder somewhere. Show the card you want to see. That shining Charizard. That was a good gift for my friend. That's not worth fourteen thousand. Excuse me. Let me go look for it. I have a lot of cards on the floor. Do you guys see it? That's the card. That's the 7K card. <clears throat> My Holy Grail. Thank you guys. Trade. Trade for what? I would trade for one. Another one. We have Sky Ridge Hound Doom. I was going to sell this, but I really like the swirl. Groudon. One of the Shining Magikarps. The thing about me is I don't... It gives me anxiety to talk to people in DMs. So trading with me is hell. Because sometimes I just don't talk. And that's how I'm able to acquire so many cards. Because a lot of cards coming in. Not many going out. 
Thank you for the hearts. I do have Target promo magic cards that I can sell, but not the shining ones. I really like these Gengars. Japanese Charizard. These are um, someone else's cards that I'm holding. I really like these screen cards. I'm selling this card for seven hundred. Evolution Gyarados. Will you be willing to go live together? I don't do lives together anymore because there was one person that ruined it for everybody. I think he was just being very, very odd. I don't know. I've been live with a couple of people and 50% they do something wrong. And that's just way too high for me to go live. Yeah, I got this from PSA. They have a custom woodworker. Um, and I won this from PSA. I'm a little tick. This is the Holy Grail. Mint condition. Ho-oh. This is the highest graded Lugia of Aquapolis with BGS. I think this is worth more than PSA 10 just because it's pop one. Any Jirachis? I have them, but they're just in boxes right now. I keep my main stuff um, in binders. You can send me more information, C Miser. Um, and then my manager will like take notes. And and when I'm free, we'll, we'll go over it. Hey, J Rob. Shiny Drifloo. So these are basically my shiny. Crystal Lugia is a must have. It's gonna. Yeah, my shiny Charizards. Melotic. I don't think this Melotic was supposed to be here. It's supposed to be down here. Nice. Crystal Lugia is so rare. I ha I had eight at one point. I had a PSA ten, but I sold it for a thousand. That was worth a lot of money. I have more. I think I have two more Crystal Lugias. Are they in here? I'm going to take this aside. I don't think it was supposed to be there. So we have Shinies. Oh, that reminds me. I'll be right back. Let me grab something. I was supposed to put these away. These were on my table. Go 
Hope your live keeps going post for you. Yeah, DM me the information. My manager will put it in my schedule. Because right now I'm getting so many messages. They put everything on a spreadsheet and then we go over it and see which ones we can do. I love me some Plasma Storm Charizards. Are you worried that the market will fall off soon? No, I'm not. This was all predictable. What's happening now with the market, like, it's easily predictable for people who are in the hobby for so long. Because we're just so used to it. There's a lot of ups and downs, though. How much for a plasma storm? I would sell a nine for over a thousand dollars. We have Evolutions pre release, Gold Star Charizard, and First Edition Charizards. Look at that. Great shape. I'm so glad I didn't sell the French one. I was going to. I'm going to put these away. Thank you. Okay, time for part two. I do have, this is my Japanese section. Ho-Oh, Lugia play promo. How did you acquire all this just over the years? I was really good at collecting back then. Japanese 25th anniversary Zards. Yes, I do. In my graded card collection. You just have to be really good at what you buy. I bought multiple copies, one to keep, one to sell, one to sell in the far future. So the one you sell when the price goes up, it makes back most of your money. And the one you sell years from now, it makes back the rest of your money. Plus you make more for your pocket. And then you keep one for free. So I did that for almost every single card. I owned like eight Crystal Lugias just so I can keep three minty copies for free. I have the highest graded one in 9.5 and I have two mint ones in my binder, but it's for free because I sold the rest of the Lugias that I purchased. And then you just keep doing that for every single card. This I am going to sell. I don't know why it's in here. Thank you. Yeah. Feel free to ask me questions. I'm here to share advice. Rayquaza Gold Star. Ladius Gold Star. How did you get multiples of each? Right now, it's very tough to acquire, but you join Facebook groups and you get to know people. I built up a huge reputation in my communities, so I was able to get first dibs on a lot of cards. Sifos, I collect multiple copies of the expensive cards. One to keep, one to sell, and one to sell in the far future. Um, for example, I bought this card for, let's say, 20 bucks. I bought three copies. I keep the mintiest one, got it graded in a PSA 10, and I hold the rest. I sold one copy for a hundred dollars in the future years from now so that one hundred dollars covered the three copies now I have the PSA 10 copy and then the ungraded one 
in the future I could sell the ungraded one for $200 or the PSA 10 for like $600 so that $60 initial investment turned into over a thousand dollars you just have to know what cards to buy and how long to hold because $600 might stay $600 for a year so um, know when to sell and when to buy do you usually collect raw, greater, or mix of both? That's a good question. I collect a lot of raw minty ones. Any card I show you, I can flip to the back and they are really, really minty. Because for me, I'd rather spend $1,000 in ungraded mint cards than spend like $10 on the grading. Because look, when I started grading, PSA, when I was 20, right, PSA was around $8 per car to get graded, and now it's recently $10. So over the course of a few years, PSA only increased their price a few dollars. Recently, they doubled it. But if you look at all these trading cards, they quadrupled in price. That $20 Steelix is now like a $200, probably $300 card, right, in mint condition. So it's better to put your money into trading cards that are mint rather than grade what you can. Um, how much would you pay for a Charizard CB CD promo PSA 10? I personally would buy a 9 for $200 and I would get it regraded with PSA. Eventually one's going to come back a PSA 10. Um, because those cards are very common in mint condition. But if I were to, you know, have too much, don't have a lot of time on my hands to do that, I would probably pay $500 for a CD promo Charizard. But there's a lot of room to haggle because the market for those is kind of saturated right now. People graded so many of them. I would recommend you buy the vintage case. Um, the old label because back then people were just grading all those Charizards for investment, but It's one of the most common graded Japanese Charizards. If you buy it in a vintage case. It will be Super cheap because there it's most likely going to be scratched up Then you could pay like $20 to get a recase and then your card value will go up by hundreds. So That's how you make money. Do you think any modern cards will be worth as much as the vintage ones? Probably the alt arts. I don't ever see them going out of style, but I don't think they're gonna go up as much. It's like it's not gonna go out of style, and it's easy to grade them a ten. So I wouldn't buy them for long term. I would buy vintage mint copies. No, I don't think modern will appreciate in the long run. It's just gonna stay flat. <laughs> Stay flat and stay high. You're welcome, Mean Green. Buy the PSA 9. There's plenty of PSA 9s in mint, um, mint condition, especially the older labels. I do want a Japanese Raichu and Mewtwo. I'm missing those from my collection. So how much is it per car with PS right now? It's 150. It used to be 200 for Express. Now they lowered it to 150. There is a $20 option and a $50 option, but they are closed right now due to backlog. Um, next year, I think PSA is going to lower their prices to entice people to send. And that's when you should send your cards to get graded. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it for any more people because people seem to take advantage of my grading services. Yeah, it is ridiculous. What's ridiculous is that they upcharge you too. So. I'm actually in a financial pickle because imagine sending 
a card off to get graded for 10 bucks, right? You get the bill. They want $200 on top because you sent in a shadowless Charizard that's in mint condition and they want you to pay for insurance. So I sent off a lot of expensive cards that went up in price and now I'm paying like $500 in additional charges and I'm doing it for multiple submissions. So it's it's killing my pocket right now because I can't, it's a car payment, you know? You have to pay an extra car payment per month for your cards to come back. And it's multiple submissions. I did not prepare for that. Maybe one, maybe a few subs is fine. But right now, it's like every single submission comes back. I have to pay hundreds out of pocket for upcharges. Even at bulk. Yeah. Because that's it for, 150 is not for the insurance mostly. It's for the turnaround time. So 150 gets you your card back in a week to a month. But if you pay $20, you're going to get it back in a year. Yeah. So now I'm struggling. <laughs> and, of course, you can always sell your cards. But it's cards that I sent in that's for my personal collections. I don't want to be forced to sell those cards to pay for upcharges. So I'm selling my other cards right now to try to keep up with the payments. But... It's been difficult because there's only so much time to sit around and upload cards to get graded. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Torchic. I do want a mint copy of Torchic. Mine's near mint but i want a psa 9 yeah so i've been trying to sell off a lot of my collections i've been selling cards every week it's just not fast enough and i don't want to rush sell my cards um because the best time to sell is when you don't need to sell that means you could just list your cards for market price and let it sit, or more for market price. And if it sells, great. You make a lot of money. If it doesn't sell, that's also good because you don't need the money. What's your opinion on the best and easiest way to sell your cards, both graded and raw? I recommend PWCC. I have a lot of cards I just want to offload and not think about it. You can set it to PWCC. They will list the cards for you, and you just get paid. So different color. So these are my shadowless Charizard. Some of them. I have graded ones too. This one's the lightest one in color. Do you think the grading companies are moving to the AI process will impact how graded cards will be in the long run? It's not happening yet, but it seems like graders have their own preference in how they grade. I think the AI process will help streamline a lot of things. It might make grading cards a lot cheaper because they don't have to hire as many people. But it doesn't seem like AI captures all the flaws on the cards. It can capture maybe like scratches. It could definitely capture whitening. But surface creases are very hard to capture because some cards... You can't see a crease, but if you turn it to the side, you can see that it's all creased up. And I don't think AI is able to capture that. Jesus, I'm going to throw up. Oh, don't throw up. Put these. Don't throw up. from earlier Chinese
flexing on the floor. Okay. <laughs> so, so mean to yourselves. Okay, so no dating, no girlfriends or no boyfriends. Don't go out to eat at restaurants, okay? So every time I would go out, I would eat cheaper stuff. I wouldn't go on like a fancy dinner date, you know, with myself. And with that money, you could put it into a Charizard. So this is like years of not having a social life. So don't feel bad. This is sickening. Oh. oh yeah, and another thing. Vang pointed out something um, good. If you keep your cards ungraded, you keep like 90% of your buyer base. Because everybody likes mint ungraded cards, right? But if you send off cards to get graded, you lose like 60% of your buyer base. So. Ooh, my favorite card. I'm going to send this off to Beckett because it might get a 10. Just saying. Maybe a 9.5. Do you think vintage is the lowest price it will ever be right now? I think it could go lower, to be honest. Um, I started to realize that there's not a lot of cash flow in this market right now. And once you start realizing it, that means it's going to be a bigger problem. So I feel like vintage is going to go down even more. You also make more profit, yes. Ungraded card, you can literally get people to fight over buying your card. But you waste more time. It depends on what you want to put up with. Like, I could sell this card, but you have to deal with a lot of people wanting 100 pictures of it. Maybe Lucian's. I do have a Skyrish card somewhere on the floor. Let me look for it. I recently purchased it. Okay, I purchased this from Collecticon for a hundred fifty dollars. The market turned to MetaZoo. <laughs> People are selling their cards for MetaZoo. You make more money for MetaZoo. For sure. Um, I opened a MetaZoo pack that I got for free at Collecticon. They gave it to me, and then I sold the contents for $200. That's crazy. Yeah, I was, Shuckle Juice. I wish he said hi. I was helping out that booth. Oh, you were running? Awesome. What's the story on that Blastoise? Let's see. <laughs> As if... <laughs> bold of you to assume I remember this. So I think I actually purchased this from either... A card store... Or my friend. Pretty darn good shape.
Pokemon has all art now with gym leaders and their Pokemon. But they should have put, like, Karen's Umbreon on the card. This one, I got it from a scammer. I think. They scammed me after, but I got my money back. Skyridge Gyarados. Crystal Lugia. I'm not buying any of the newer sets. I'm going to stick with finishing vintage first. Crystal Lugia in mint condition. Near mint condition. More Sky Ridge Gyaradoses. I love my Starmies. I got this one in New York. I think there was a label for $20 on this car. But once I wanted to buy for $20, they're like, no, we can't sell it to you for $20. We have to check up, check the new pricing. It's $60. I'm like, are you serious? You're going to upcharge me $40 for this car when the label says 20 but it was in such mint condition that I knew it was going to go up even more, so I bought it for 60 But I gave them a negative review on Yelp. What's your rating of how Pokemon illustration from vintage to modern? I really like modern Pokemon cards with the alt arts, but I do like the vintage... Um, cardstock, the quality, and the yellow border. I feel like the quality is a lot better. There's a red dot error Blastoise right there. Umbreon, there was an Umbreon. Skyridge Umbreon. So these are just random. I don't care too much about base set two. There's a random Genesect. I don't care too much about base set either. <laughs> so these are all cards I could sell, but I kept them because they were in decent shape. Maybe I'll finish a master set. Umbreon. More flexing or no more flex? <laughs> Are you collecting error cards too? No, I'm not.
I just collect what I like. Ooh, more Gyaradoses. Dirty glass toys. Hey, Alex. Gold star. Nine tails. Shadowless. Are you grading these? No, these are for my personal collection. I just keep them locked up. What are these two? I'm like organizing as I'm sh showing. Okay, I'm gonna grab something real quick. I purchased a Shadowless card. I just need to put it in with my other Shadowless cards. There it is. Hey, Pokemon Preserve. I love Shadowless. Do you have any sealed vintage in your... PC? What's PC? Hi, man. Hey, Fido. <clears throat> I'm partially dying right now. Personal collection. Sealed vintage. I have booster packs. I wanted a base set booster box, but... I'd rather have the cards than the box. People abbreviating everything these days. ITK, my BFF. Jill. Maybe I should sell more of my Shadowless cards. This was a no rarity Nine Tails. Super rare. Not no rarity, my bad. No damage.
I'll buy one if you sell them. I did a whole bunch of Shadowless cards on Whatnot one day. Are EX cards classified as vintage? Personally, I would say they are not the vintage vintage ones. I would consider vintage as E-series and E-series and base set. Let's go look at this. I'm selling PSA 9 Magic Harps. Juno! Juno! Do you have any Skyrish Charizards? No, I'm trying to buy one in PSA 9 eventually. But I gotta save up first. I do want a nice, nice handbag. Apparently, handbags go up in price a lot if you buy luxury brands. So I want to do that. Buy one, use it, and then sell it for more money later on. These are all my magic harps. Look at this. One of my holy grails. You have enough cards to buy the creator of the handbag? I can pretty much sell a few pieces, which is what I'm trying to do. I need to sell some of these cards and then buy that handbag. That handbag was like a $2,000 handbag. Now it's $4,000. <sighs> it doubled in price. It's Chanel. Chanel recently upped their market uh, prices by increasing the retail prices. They want to shut down secondhand stores too. So that causes everything to go up. Is Juno a Pidgeot collector? He has his own bird collection. Yeah. Shining Magic Carp. I don't think there's any cards I would sell in this magic card box. All Gyaradoses. Hermes, Chanel is the ones to invest in. I will be Gucci fluctuates too much. Yeah, there was a, a Chanel um, wallet with a chain for $2,000, and I figured it was a really good price, but I can't justify spending $2,000 right now on a handbag when I have to pay for PSA subs coming back. This has been amazing, but I've been flexed on enough for one day. Okay, podcast, I'll stop. It's a lot for, <laughs> a lot for you to handle. Okay. One more box, though. Wait, let me flex apart the second half of my collection. Then I'll stop. <laughs> you guys are really funny. I have...
have sea on water and stuff. This is really cute. You do have good cards. I've just been collecting every single day for the past, like, 25 years. So. Shiny Magic Cup. Those wrappers, they have cash, phones. I have Shiny Magic Cup phone. Bonnie's collection is gold. Thanks, Adam. I do collect a lot of reverse hollows, so you have stuff like this. I would not laugh at anybody's collection. My collection took a lot of sacrifice. Literally, no social life. How much for one? I would sell it to you for 25 Shipped. Fees included. But if you buy more, it's, it's $20 each. Free shipping. Black Rose Dragon. So beautiful, gem at ten. These carps. PSA nine will be sixty dollars if you want one instead in mint condition. You save on the grading fees, cause and one year of your time. I tend to not sell sell cards. I'm trying to sell this one though. This is nice. Juno. Really like this one. Frost lass 9.5. My beauty. I'm gonna take a picture of this after. Before the sunlight goes away. Hi, Wigan Chin. Speaking of no social life, there's my friend, Wigan Chins. I'm trying to. He's nice too. With the magic cards, is a hit or miss? Because there are some scratches on the cards that you can't really see. So you got to remove it from the pack, the package to know. That's why you have to buy a lot. Because I purchased hundreds just to get a few PSA 10s. So, purple. We have blue. Which one looks better? PSA or Beckett? Because I have, like, Becca and PSA. This is Secret Rare Red Eyes. I like the sparkly hollows. So she shits, shits on us with Pokemon. Now it goes to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> enough is enough. You're so funny. Well. So everyone agrees that no social life is a lot better. Hydratini. Dratini comes in here calling my cards bulk and then he misspells my name. I'm selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. I've been selling a lot of my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. This almost got a black label. We have a first edition. Red Eyes Black Dragon. 
Really nice card. I like the fading of this. This is a different color. You still smiling though. I was smiling because everyone in the chat was funny. This is a LOB. Smiling is good. This is a secret rare. 20th, 20th anniversary. Very expensive. It took me so long to track this down. And this is the tin promo. Tin promo ones are very rare to find in mint condition. Is Red Eyes your most collected from Yu-Gi-Oh? You haven't seen nothing yet. It's Black Rose Dragon. No. <laughs> hey, Tommy. I do like Black Rose Dragons. I think I'm going to list Would you sell quad 9.5s or one with a 10? I would probably sell one with a 10. Bonnie's a flex machine, you didn't know. It says you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Those, you. Yeah. You guys are so funny. Okay, so the let's look for more. You guys want to see my vintage collection? I do have some vintage packs. Get this from Yizzy. You guys make me smile. You guys are so wholesome. You guys are adorable and you must be cherished and protected at all costs. So, this is some of my vintage packs. Just random stuff I collected over the years. You know, just whatever comes across. At a good price, I buy. I do like base set two packs though. You have a beautiful one. Oh, thank you. Can you say this live and send it to me? I want to repost. I'm so serious. This is insane. NHB It's a secret. Nobody knows I have this. This is only for you guys. I want it to be special. I don't go off showing my collection. Only on live streams on uh, Instagram. Buy Pokemon Buyers Club. Everybody knows. Not everybody knows. I like keeping it intimate, you know, just you guys only know about this. Maybe I should show the whole world. Oh my goodness. He 
me just look at this, y'all. Look, look, she has more impacts than my life is worth. Maybe I can send it to you. How do I send such a large file? Upload it to YouTube, and then you can download it. I could do that. You'll be instantly famous. Do I want to be famous? Oh, you guys want to look at my blue eyes? My blue eyes collection. I can upload it to YouTube if you want to repost it. Thank you for seeing I have potential. It's just random cards. I do like this one. I'm going to keep this one. You can block me after. Why block you when I can flex on you? Look at this. Korean prism blue eyes. This is very shimmery. Japanese blue eyes. This is a 10 promo and a 10. twins two of the same one I didn't know I've never been so disrespected in my life so bad <laughs> I'm from the hood and Queens is crazy she said why well, block you when I can flex on you <laughs> I said it so innocently too <laughs> I said it so nonchalantly why block you when I can flex on you I didn't know I had to Ghost Rare. Alternate Blue Eyes White Dragon. Mega Tins Blue Eyes. Shonen Jump. PSA 10. I was hunting for this in a PSA 10. I probably got it. My favorites, the tin promo blue eyes. This one I got for almost two hundred dollars. Um, I haggled it to one like thirty. I purchased it and now it's probably like a five hundred dollar card. When Pokemon went up in price, I sold a lot of Pokemon for Yu-Gi-Oh because I knew if Pokemon was gonna go up, Yu-Gi-Oh was gonna go up. So. I sold a lot of Pokemon for a lot of money. I purchased multiple copies of these, and I did the same with Yu-Gi-Oh. I actually started Yu collecting Yu-Gi-Oh again last year. So, I probably grew from, like, probably a $500 Yu-Gi-Oh collection to over 30000 in a year. Because I knew the Yu-Gi-Oh! market was going to skyrocket after Pokemon. It would make sense. Buy all the expensive cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the Pokemon money. Do you play? I used to. Family is the mob and she's the only child. Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon Secret Rare. We have the 20th Anniversary Sparkly Blue Eyes. Ghost Rare. I like this card because it was a cheap gift from my friend. Um, 
it's mint aside from the fact that it has a crease in the middle so i always say i like this card because it's damaged in the middle just like me i'm damaged in the middle so we can relate we have a sdk blue eyes different colors normal color and faded Duelist Saga PSA 1 and this one is my childhood blue eyes with a hollow bleed probably can't see it through the case and the sleeve but it has a hollow bleed Duelist Saga is a fantastic card look at the hollow pattern Hey, I got that. We're gonna be twinsies. I have the 8.5 tin promo that I'm selling. It's really hard to find a card this mint, so I might change my mind on this. I might keep it. Or increase the price on eBay. Um... This is a Japanese, like, DDS pattern. Blue eyes. We have the stainless steel blue eyes. I bought a whole bunch of these for, mm, like, 50 bucks. And then I sold them for 200 recently. I still have a couple. So this is what happens. You just buy multiple copies of cards that are going to go up. I figured a Steel Yu-Gi-Oh card is going to go up in price because of the material. Um, sold it and continue. That's how you pay for your collection for free. That's my secret that I'm sharing with you guys. I need to go eat. So let me flex a little bit more. Then I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful holiday. And go replenish my calories that I have burned. Flexing takes up a lot of energy. We have the DDS Blue Eyes. The Holy, one of the Holy Grails of Yu-Gi-Oh. This card is, last time I checked, was valued over 7,000. But it probably went down. We have the World Championship Sparkly Blue Eyes. This one I pulled from the envelope and graded myself. This one is valued at 2000 I believe. It's been staying at that price for the longest time. Last but not least, we have the first edition, SDK Blue Eyes. This one is, I think, hitting 10,000. So, awesome. Okay. I am done flexing for now. Time to go eat. It was really nice talking to you guys and showing you my collection. I'm gonna go take pictures of my cards. I'm probably gonna take a picture of this card for my Instagram. No holds barred podcast. Okay. I'm going to upload this for you. So you can share it with all your friends. I'm going to say goodbye. Just so we can end the video. Thank you guys for letting me share my collection with you. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. 
uh, Instagram.com slash BoatDangers where I post a lot of cards from my collection and cards coming back from PSA, BGS, and CJC. Until next time. And that will be the ending to the video. So, glad I got this back. Hey, Rajat. Rajat, do you want me to send you the money? I don't want to hold it until PSA returns because I feel like I feel like it's better if I just send it to you because we don't know how long PSA is going to take. Yeah, I'd rather you get the money and have it help in any way than me holding it. Do. Podcast is suddenly quiet. Hi, iPhone Elite. I'm just ending the stream. I was flexing. Let's break. Break packs. I opened a lot of packs. Chinese 25th anniversary and I didn't pull anything. I also opened 20th Anniversary promo packs, but I didn't pull anything. Happy holidays to you and your family. You too. I've been resting. I haven't been active. But I'm going to go post a picture of this. Flex. Lady Flex. I was showing off my Blue Eyes collection. I love blue eyes. DDS. First edition. SDK. Holy Grail, my collection. I'm selling a lot of stuff on my eBay. It's Boat Dangers. I'm selling a lot of my collection. Because I gotta pay off, uh, I wanna pay off cards that I want to keep permanently in my collection. Bye, Southwest Desert Brown. Thank you. Bye, guys. I'm gonna go upload this video and show off this beauty. Bye, Vang. Thank you. Until next time, I'll go on live more.